given question find the speed at which four cylinder engine using gas as a fuel develop a brake power of 50 kilowatt working under following conditions air to gas ratio 9 is to 1 calorific value of the fuel 34 mega joule per meter cube compression ratio 10 is to 1 volumetric efficiency 70% indicated thermal efficiency 35% and mechanical efficiency 80% total volume of the engine is 2 liters let us understand given data this is four cylinder engine that is number of cylinders is equal to four brake power bp is equal to 50 kilowatt air to gas ratio here gas is used as a fuel so we can say that a by f ratio is 9 is to 1 calorific value of fuel so calorific value is given 34 mega joule per meter cube but the standard unit is kilo joule per meter cube so how to convert it we will write here as a 34 into 10 raised to 3 kilo joule per meter cube then compression ratio r is equal to 10 is to 1 volumetric efficiency nita v 70% indicated thermal efficiency nita ith 35% mechanical efficiency nita m 80% and the total volume of engine 2 liters so we will first calculate the total volume per cylinder now the unit is given in liters so we have to convert it into centimeter cube so how to convert it so how to convert the liter so 1 liter is equal to 10 raised to 3 cm cube so this is the relation now we have to calculate this total volume per cylinder so there number of cylinders 4 so we have to divide it by 4 so 2 liter that is 2 into 10 raised to 3 cm cube divided by 4 is equal to 500 cm cube so cm cube we will write here as a cc then compression ratio is given now we get this total volume now we have to find out this swept volume so how to find out this swept volume so with the help of compression ratio so compression ratio r is equal to total volume divided by clearance volume so when we put the value r is equal to 10 is to 1 that is 10 by 1 is equal to this 500 divided by vc so vc is equal to 50 cm cube now we know that this total volume vt is equal to vs plus vc so we will get the value of vs when we put the value of vt vt is 500 and vc is 50 so swept volume is equal to 450 cm cube so this is vs and that is required for the further calculation now we will move to the next volumetric efficiency now this volumetric efficiency is given 70% so what is this volumetric efficiency that is the volume of air taken in per cycle that is v air that is volume of air taken in per cycle divided by swept volume so this is the ratio of volume volume of air taken in divided by swept volume is known as volumetric efficiency so when we put the value so volumetric efficiency 70% that is 70 by 100 that is 0.7 is equal to v air divided by vs that is 450 so v air that is the volume of air taken in per cycle is equal to 315 cm cube so this is the value of volume of air taken in so how to calculate the volume of gas taken in so for that air to fuel ratio is given so in this case fuel is known as gas that is fuel used as a gas so air to fuel ratio is given so we can say that a by f is equal to volume of air taken in per cycle divided by volume of gas taken in per cycle now from this we can calculate the volume of gas taken in per cycle so volume of air taken in 315 
डिवाइडेड बाय वॉल्यूम ऑफ गैस टेकन इन एज इट इज इज इक्वल टू ए बाय एफ ए बाय एफ इज नाइन इज टू वन सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ गैस टेकन इन पर साइकिल व्हेन वी कैलकुलेट वी विल गेट द आंसर थर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर क्यूब व्हेन वी मल्टीप्लाई वॉल्यूम ऑफ गैस टेकन इन विथ कैलरीफिक वैल्यू ऑफ फ्यूल then we will get the energy supplied per cylinder so this energy supplied per cylinder e is equal to this volume of gas taken in per cycle that is 35 cm cube multiplied by calorific value so its a unit is kilojoule per meter cube 34 into 10 raised to 3 kilojoule per meter cube and this is in सेंटीमीटर क्यूब सो वी विल कन्वर्ट इट इन टू मीटर क्यूब सो हाउ टू कन्वर्ट इट सो वन सेंटीमीटर दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन रेज टू माइनस टू मीटर सो वी विल राइट हेयर थर्टी फाइव इन टू टेन रेज टू माइनस टू मीटर एंड वी हैव टू टेक इट्स अ क्यूब दैट इज ब्रैकेट रेज टू थ्री सो थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू दैट इज सिक्स सो वी विल राइट हेयर थर्टी फाइव इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थर्टी फोर इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री सो इट्स अ यूनिट इज मीटर क्यूब सो धिस मीटर क्यूब एंड धिस डिनोमिनेटर मीटर क्यूब इज गेटिंग कैंसल्ड एंड वी विल गेट द एंसर वन पॉइंट वन नाइन किलो चूल सो धिस इज द एनर्जी सप्लाइड पर सिलिंडर नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट धिस स्पीड एन so we will take the another formula to find out energy supplied per cylinder with the help of this indicated thermal efficiency so indicated thermal efficiency nita ith is equal to indicated power divided by energy supplied per cylinder per second so here one extra unit that is per second now how to find out this ip because it is not mentioned in the question so nita mechanical that is the mechanical efficiency nita m is equal to bp divided by ip so instead of ip we will write bp divided by nita m so bp is given that is 50 kilowatt then nita m is 80% that is 0.8 and here per cylinder that means we have to divide it by number of cylinders so here four so how to write it ip is equal to bp that is 50 divided by 0.8 so instead of ip we will write 50 divided by 0.8 then divided by nita ith because we have to calculate this so this term for this term we have to take this in the denominator nita indicated thermal efficiency that is 35% that is 0.35 and we have to also divide with number of cylinders that is 4 so when we solve this then we will get energy supplied per cylinder per second is equal to 44.6 kJ now we have to compare these two terms energy supplied per cylinder and this is the equation number 1 and energy supplied per cylinder per second that is 44.6 kJ so we will say this is the equation number 2 now we have to convert this term into energy supplied per cylinder so how to convert this we have to remove this per second term we will write the formula as energy supplied per cylinder per second divided by number of power stroke per second is equal to energy supplied per cylinder so if we observe if we divide it with number of power strokes per second then we will get energy supplied per cylinder so energy supplied per cylinder per second is 44.6 kJ so we have to write this now how to calculate the number of power stroke per second so the speed n is in rpm but we have to take number of power stroke per second so we have to divide this n with 60 and we have to take the number of power stroke for this four stroke engine that is n by 2 so we will take n divided by 
2 multiplied by 60. So when we simplify this, then we will get here this 44.6 into 120 divided by n and that is equal to 5356.8 divided by n. Now if we observe this is the value of energy supplied per cylinder. Now if we compare the equation 1 and equation 3 then the left hand side is energy supplied per cylinder is same. So we can write here 5356.8 divided by n is equal to 1.19. Therefore n is equal to 4500 rpm.